Looks like we're going to have 11 hogs in uh, class 4 here. Looks like we're still getting some, some clerical things lined up in the back to start letting the class in. But, uh, it's going to be more of our mid-December range class here. Uh, Roughly December 8th through about uh, December 16th, it looks like. Here are the results in our Berkshire show of class uh, number three. Class winner is Kenzie Ray Gold at Belt, Texas, 920-5. That's the main brand correction we gave you at the very bottom of your sheet. Second, Ty Thompson, Farmersville, Texas, 887-5. Third, Andrew Dornbeyer, Garner, Iowa, 823-6. Fourth, Susan and Brian Brooklyn, Bushland, Texas, 813-5. Fifth, Chandler Lamb. Staff at the door at 847-5. From the top down, you're placing 4, 3, 6, 5, scratch, 7, 9, 8, 2, 1. The top 9 yields on class 3 and main tomorrow's auction. The top 9. Looks like they're going to take all the gilts from class 3 for the auction tomorrow. Top 9 gilts. Uh, those of you following around on following along at home. 840-5 was a scratch from class 3. We work through these classes here. As you guys just heard, we'll let uh, Mr. Kevin Went read the results to you. So um, He's probably got a little, little better voice for this stuff than you or I do. Like Mr. Go ahead, Ben. Uh, 843-5 is the one that uh, just came in. Savannah Johnson's got to speak now, Gil. And uh, since then, looks like we have a uh, 856-5. Gabby Marsh, Oklahoma, with a scandal, Gil. Also had one guilt make her way to the pins over there. That is the uh, 824-5 guilt of uh, Kirsten Ager. Be a speak for yours on a left shark. The next one going to head to a pin. Is that 909 guilt that comes straight in headed to a pin? Uh, that's going to be the uh, Kelsey Kingenberg from Texas. That'll be a back home on a wanted. Next in the ring, we got, uh, looks like McLean Music is probably showing a Schaffner and Wabash Valley guilt. They have another. Eight ten dash five just rolled in. That uh, is another bright lights gill uh, shown by Hunter Brown from Oklahoma. Be a bright lights cookie monster. Looks like uh, last entry in this class eight eleven dash five. Brandy Brown, Hickory Creek, Texas, uh, with another two tone gill. Two-tone Mr. Twister uh, doubling up on the crossroads there. Double bread. That's what we like. For consistency, right? That's right. That one catches a pin pretty quick. Three guilds in, six left to get lined up here. If my math is right, we may have had a couple of scratches in this class too. My my sheet shows eleven, but I think we've only got nine out here. That there's that for, there's that Purdue education again coming absolutely. through. Absolutely. That's why I paid the big bucks, I guess. <laughs> We just get our football team better. It might might be more enjoyable to brag about being a Boilermaker. I don't know if you know this, Jason, or not, but I'm a uh, Wisconsin Badger. 
Actually, I didn't know that. I, I am didn't a, know that. I am a fan of the Purdue uh, football team because it's a uh, the check in the W column. Uh, it's usually a usually an easy win, huh? <laughs> It's like the fourth guilt found her way over there to the pins. Uh, she spins around. We'll get you a paint brand. Looks like eight, uh, maybe a eight forty-three five. Eight forty-three five. That'd be uh, Savannah Johnston. Speak now. Double barrel. Texas guilt. They're going to throw in 900-5 uh, in pen 5. Looks like uh, Max and Sam Wetzel across Wisconsin with a whatever it takes choker guilt. The bottom side of that pedigree, uh, pretty unique. Yeah, I'm not sure I've ever seen that name before. Looks like it's a uh, triple L Lindsired boar. Uh, I'm with you, Jason. I have not seen that name before. Six guild ends at 810-5 guild. That Hunter Brown Bright Lights guild. Eight fifty six five is going to go in seven. McLean is going to catch pen eight with the uh, Shafter and Wabash Valley entry. Uh, the Oglebred have another stubs. Should be a fun top end to work through again here in this particular drive. Guilt there you see on your screen that uh, 824.5 guilt that uh, Kirsten Egger, uh, Iowa guilt, uh, be a beam and bread sire, uh, speak, speak for years, left shark. I wonder if that's the boar that Conover has. It even looks like a Conover type pedigree. It actually is uh, the speak for yourself is what Bryce calls that hog. He's uh, That's the Beeman hog. It's actually a littermate to the Beeman hog yep. that Bryce buys at summer conference last year. Uh, Bryce lost early. This is a littermate they had on feed uh, that Bryce worked out a deal for that they call speak for yourself. Absolutely. The, the second guilt dropped out into the mix there was at uh, 909.5, the Kelsey Kennenbrew, uh, the back home wanted guilt from Texas. And then the third guilt that Mr. Hinker is going to use here to line this class up is at 811-5. That's that Brandy Brown uh, again from Texas, uh, two-tone Mr. Twister. Real nice trio of gilts out there. Very nice. You know, again, you know, like the last couple classes, gilts just seem to be real consistent, uh, real sound on their feet and legs. Uh, looks like that 909.5 gilt's going to win this particular class back home. Uh, with that being said, here's Mr. Hinker with the comments on this class. A nice trio of gilts uh, out here. I chose the lead here with this 909.5 gilt here. One that really balances. Uh, she's uh, got some frame size to her. She's got some dimension to her. She reads true in her blade. Uh, she's got a big blade working in her big back. Uh, she's kind of long and smooth out of that hip. Sets them down relatively uh, good from behind as a feminine under, underline, I think. You know, really logical choice. You know, I got closer to me. I thought the one that uh, followed her close as the 811. Five here, a guilt that's got good built guilt from the side. You like her, her shoulder height, her blade size. Uh, she's got a big old smooth hip, and she can take some length of stride and handle it. Uh, really good, real practical uh, spot for her to be in second. Really intrigued by this guilt. This guilt doesn't have near as much muscle shape, uh, but I like the length of stride this guilt has. I really like the heaviness of skeleton your guilt offers. Uh, but we really get on her. Uh, she doesn't open up as well uh, through that center part of a river. Have 
as much dimension of muscle, but I think this one's kind of a breeding piece in terms of design and length of stride and heaviness of skeleton. I like that about her. A little more terminal gilt here, a gilt that uh, handles that amount of muscle very well. Uh, just a little uh, a frailer in her feature for me, not as, good, not as long and clean out through that front end as the gilt said that were ahead of you. And she opens up in a big rib, big blade, and got a big hip in her. I uh, still have to appreciate her for that. 900-5 is a gilt. I like her. She's a bit more extended. I like that about her. Uh, pretty big blade and sculled uh, gilt. Uh, one there that just gets a little straighter in her hind leg for me today, but one you're really going to have to get up and look at. This gilt has really good top shape. Uh, she really looks genuine. Her maturity looks a little later in a couple of those gilts ahead of her. I do like that about that uh, gilt. This gilt has a, a quite a bit of value, value, and I think you need to look her up. Uh, 810 gilt here, another gilt that uh, gets out there, and the young man does a nice job of presenting her. Uh, she's got a lot of balance to her and a good look to her. She's a little straighter up in her shoulder set, a little more refined in her bone work, uh, I think, to move up any higher. But a really good competitive uh, class of gilts. Let's give them a hand. Another real nice class of Berkshire gilts. Uh, I'll tell you what, Jason, uh, each of these classes, top three, four, five, Gilts in this class are all built a little differently, but the quality is uh, running awfully deep here in Des Moines today. Yeah, without a doubt. It's going to be, uh, we still got, what, about three or four classes to work through, but uh, setting ourselves up pretty for, for a pretty fun champion drive, in my opinion. 